Let's go ahead and start looking at some final thoughts here on Hancock and Kelly. New mayor, new gun control measures, new developments and political scandals. But other stuff happened. The Cardinals had their baseball home opener, so let's open it up for final thoughts. Michael, you go first. Well, uh, we've been having a lot of discussion over the last several weeks about voting rights and now gun control. I just want to posit this one question. Isn't it interesting that it's easier to get a gun in this country than it is to vote? Where are we headed with this stuff? Okay, Michael, that's a good question. Let's go ahead and send it over to John. Final thoughts from you? Of course, it's not easier to get a gun than it is to vote. Uh, but my final thought relates to number 28, the third baseman for the St. Louis Cardinals, Nolan Arenado. Now, here's a guy that loves baseball. He's absolutely phenomenal. He is a true superstar of the game, and I predict he's going to lead the St. Louis Cardinals to the National League Central title. <laughs> and their I see how the corner of my eye, Michael's clapping. <laughs> hey, so, so let me go ahead and ask you about that, John. What did you think about that curtain call? That was awesome. I can't believe that was his first curtain call. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, amazing. And Michael, I do have to ask you, um, because St. Louis, we've earned the, and, and I'm, I'm probably going to get in trouble with my fans in Boston about this. I was up there when we went to the World Series there, and let me tell you something. True, they can back it up, but Boston fans can talk some trash. I do believe that we are some very well-behaved fans here in St. Louis. So, Michael, what do you think about the class demonstration there by Arenado? Well, there's no doubt about it. We're the classiest fans in baseball, and it's shameful that you were abused as a youngster being a Red Sox fan. <laughs> talk some trash. <laughs> but but I do have to say, you know, they, 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 they could back it up, and unfortunately they backed it up that year. Um, but I do also want to go back to uh, voting because you know that uh, we already had a very unusual, a histor just the vote for the St. Louis City Mayor was historic. Do you guys foresee any other changes in any big races coming up behind that? Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens in the Republican Senate race. I'll yield to you on that, John. That's going to be quite a food fight on your side of the aisle. Yeah, and you know what's disappointing to me is that how few people voted in the mayoral election. That's a substantial, significant election, and what, 20-some percent turnout, uh, you know, we've got to do as a society, we've got to do better. So what do you guys recommend that we do in order to increase voter, voter participation? Because that was 29%, which is significantly higher than for most other races in the city. So no. anybody have any suggestions for how to get more voters involved? Enthused? Yeah, we because need we to move the election date in the city of St. Louis mm -hmm. from April to November. It's as simple as that. And then, by the way, 30% of the people in the city choosing who our mayor is going to be in the midst of this crisis, that's shameful. Yeah, I, I, I do have to agree with you on that. It would, I was, it would have been great to be able to stand in a long line as we all uh, voted because voting is our right and uh, it's something that we should definitely uh, use to have our say. Uh, John Hancock, so uh, when is the next game that you're going to down at Bush? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm getting my, my second shot tomorrow, so I'm excited. All right, all right, I'm getting mine. What about you, Michael? Are you willing to, uh, to, to waive your HIPAA rights and to tell us? <laughs> Okay, it looks like we lost Mike, but he is smiling. I'm telling you that right now. Everyone, I want to thank John Hancock and Michael Kelly so much for their help this morning, for breaking down these issues and helping us to understand everything. And thank you so much for joining us on Hancock and Kelly. If you missed anything, you can download it on your smartphone. Just search the words Hancock and Kelly. Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace is up next. Have a great and safe weekend, and we'll see you next Sunday on Hancock.